Welcome, everybody, to the channel. I hope all's well. Uh, today, we're going to be playing some Death Crown. Uh, this is a game that is sort of RTS, tower defense type thing, um, pixel, pixel art. Um, I mean, already the, the menu screen looks cool. The team over at uh, Sword Team um, have sent me a key very kindly for their game. Uh, this is to announce the launch of their demo which is coming out on August the 23rd, which should be today if you're watching it on the day this video gets released. The game itself has been out for a little while, but they're actually um, releasing a demo build for it so that people can get a taste for it, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, first of all, thanks to them for sending it. Master volume was automatically just below 50%, or it looks at 50%, which is A-OK -okay with me. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Hopefully that'll be okay, but that is just brilliant. What a great way to start. I'm just going to go and, and get into it, I suppose. There is a tutorial, which may be under the word practice. I have no idea. Campaign, special events, tower defense, Halloween event, battle with the red bridge. Let's just try a new campaign. Set level of difficulty, normal. Start solo campaign. Oh, there's also co-op. Which, uh, cool. Okay. Build a mine. You can build a mine only in your territory. Your first mine produces five gold per cycle. Each subsequent mine will produce less and less. Okay. Oh, so there's a cycle going on here. What's happening? It's my health. Build the tower in the path of your enemy's troops. Towers shoot enemies every 12 seconds. Okay. Okay, so you just have to mouse over and push the button and it will automatically put it on the thing. I see. Build a grave to produce skeletons. It's better to build your graves behind towers. They will stay standing longer that way. Graves produce an army every 10 seconds. Okay, we'll put one there then. It's better... Oh, yeah, yeah. Place a waypoint. Place the cursor over the grave. Then select... the. Uh, there's a spelling error there, but... Select the target while holding the button. Armies will destroy everything in their path. Okay. Oh, well, yep. Yeah. Yeah, we're just we're just nicely getting things going on here. All right, so there's my skeleton. He's just destroyed their building. Capture the crystal by building a grave or a tower near it. To claim a crystal, you need to build the grave or the tower near it. Black crystals enhance your army. So what, like here? Or like here? I can only build inside this area, it looks like. So if you build by the border, it expands the border, it looks like. Capture the crystals. Two out of three. Uh, let's go for another army then uh, here. And then a tower, when I've got enough. Oh, mine is 30. Oh, geez. Okay, we need to wait. Let's put another thing on. So now we get nine per cycle. It's nice. Okay. So now you can attack you. Okay. Good. You won the battle as a reward. You receive a black crystal. I like this guy. He looks cool. Now you can choose which building to improve. The mine will yield more gold. The tower will recharge faster. The grave will spawn an army more often. Right, okay. So, the mine will yield more gold. The tower will... I really like this kind of... The sort of, like, scroll thing that he's putting up. Okay, so, the mine, the tower, or the army. I don't know what I... Wait, did it upgrade all of them? Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. Does, to attack, select an area marked with a black flag. Okay. 
Let's choose this one. Past the tutorial. We did it. Good. All right, attack. Here we go. Now let's see how we do. You can demolish your buildings by pressing the same button as for construction. For the demolition of the building, you'll receive half of the initial cost. Understood. So how much do we have? Not much. But my mines are making 10 now, actually. Oh, that's much better, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to get another mine going anyway. Need uh, enough for an army. Why did that... Oh, I see. Plus 12. I understand now. I'm going to build two towers here, I think, as well. Oh, no. I did the wrong thing. Ah, damn. Well done. Let's do army there, tower there, and tower there. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. Build another mine there and there. So now we've got 19 gold every... Uh, every cycle. I'll build another tower as well. My god. <laughs> uh, right, let's build an army there. And as soon as I can build a tower, I will. And that should get us two crystals. No, not that. I want a, a thingy. Right, everybody, go get go get their towers. Oh, jeez. Right. Who's sleeping? Why are you sleeping? My God, I'm getting overrun. I'm getting overrun. What's going on? Right. So this is where things <laughs> get serious. No, wrong button. Q. Right, let's just get tons of armies going. Here we go. You go there. You go there. You go there. Here we go. Now we're going to begin. So you go to that one. Get that one. We're doing okay, though. Attack the main keep. Victory. All right. So second one, right? Are you sure you want to start the battle? <laughs> cool. Right. Okay. I like the the different layouts. We've got some obstacles going on here. This might be a little bit of a of a tough one to to get to the thing in time, but uh, Q. I'll put a mine here as well and one here I think so we'll just get a couple of um, towers going on first right destroy now what do I want I want armies here because they're sort of sheltered behind the rocks uh, you go for that actually you go for that um, right we'll do that we've got a black crystal going on then now um, let's put this up. They destroyed one of my mines. Shoot. Right, my units are sleeping. Come on. Come on. Rebuild that mine. Get the 19 going on. No! Balls. So this is me, right? Is that is that correct? I'm like... I think that's taking me taking my time to realize these things <laughs> my level of awareness with something like this is uh, is low right now doing my best I think we've got this though right I mean they're not look at they've got one trail here oh another trail here Attack the main keep. To victory we ride. Uh, random color scheme? What does that mean? Don't know what that is. Um, 
Uh, yeah, the... Two out of two, we can upgrade everything now. Good. Right, so... Next map. Curious now what that means for us. Yeah, let's start the battle up here. Right, so we're going to get our mines down here. So now that's plus... Wait, is it? It, seem, it seems to be that you... I mean, I don't know. I haven't upgraded the mine this time. It looks like the tower or whatever else is upgraded. I don't know what I clicked because I thought it, they just upgraded them all. But actually, it seems that... No. Um, it Maybe it upgrades the one that you choose, you know? Yeah, I wonder I wonder what that's meant for us. Is that meant that we're getting more soldiers now or is that is that something else? I don't exactly know there. I'll have to look at that properly. We can confirm it after this run or something. You balls, right. Man, they've built quick, haven't they? Holy Jeez, okay. So maybe I upgraded my towers. Maybe that's what I did. I don't really know what I've done here. This is a struggle. Uh, they've got a horse? Oh, they got... What are you saying? Retreat. Dear, dear, dear. This is... What happened there? So, so this is one thing I was wondering. I don't know what I clicked. I, I've, I've got two skulls. Look on the on the towers here. Does that mean that's what I've been upgrading? Maybe it does. I just clicked anywhere on the banner without realizing. But I thought the first time I clicked, I thought that maybe it would give you the option, so it would come up with another screen. But when I clicked it, I thought that it just upgraded all three of them. But you can pave the complex path for your warriors. You should pave from the end point marked with a flag. Okay, I understand. Um, maybe I should make a tower then if I've been upgrading my towers. Yeah, it looks like there's a little arrow above them actually. I'm not sure if that's... Build another one there. Oh no, it's not an arrow. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a projectile. Okay. Okay, we're killing these quicker, aren't we? This seems like a, a better shout, I think. Right. So if I did that, then that will go... Yeah, they will go that way. I see. Take it down. Come on. So we need to destroy his settlement and then we capture the, the, the thing. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, this is this is a this is a tough one actually. Let's build that up there, and then everybody go for this one. Yeah, see, this is cool. This is where it's like I feel like I'm beginning to kind of grasp the like flanking and and all of that, the RTS nature of it, I suppose. Right, I'm gonna get one of you going for their mines, and then the others will go for the towers. If we can destroy their production. I kind of wish we had some more um, graveyards, but um, yeah, it's fine. It's going well. Uh, okay, sell the tower here, make a graveyard. That's better. Um, and another graveyard tower. Wow. Yeah, the, look at this line here. That's just unbelievable, isn't it? Dear me, I'm getting taught a lesson here. I sell that, make that. Hopefully my towers being level two will provide enough defense. This is better. We're doing okay. We're defending. We're defending all right here, but just keep on with the towers. As soon as one gets destroyed, build another. 
Uh, it's a bit of a stalemate, isn't it? One thing I will say, the, these four towers are actually doing a lot of good work here. Is there anything else I can get rid of? No, I don't think so. Ah, we've made some ground! Yes! Right, good. Now we can sell you graveyard up. Yes! Right, okay. Keep on going for their mines. We need to. We've just taken the crystal. Although they've just taken it back. Tide is changing. We did well to do a couple of adjustments. I like this. Um, okay. Right, we can put a couple of towers here. Now we can probably sell some of these. I think it's ours. I think it's ours, guys. I think it is. Yes, that was good. Very cool. Very cool. Right, so... What should we do next? Oh, it's a four skull. This is two. Okay. Okay. Certainly need to... build your minds, you know? But maybe we risk it with a early graveyard and get in and destroy just like super early we're already halfway down the path now you see i don't know that might be that might be silly but okay you can join in they're coming there so let's put the tower in the path uh we need to destroy their production like fast as possible. Come on, skeletons, get in there. Destroy him. Bloody destroy him. This guy's been a right old pain. Uh, he's building mines up there, look, as well now. Or farms or whatever. That's the way. I think that early aggressive kind of push has been brilliant actually everyone destroy their front line now he's got too many crystals I quite like this sort of um, having to you know change up your strategy as you go it's quite nice like the movement I suppose you know now we've got like a nice like front line here of fortresses and two crystals we can sort of uh, adjust as we go. That could become a windmill. That could become a cemetery. Yes. Yes, boys. Right. Okay. It's a graveyard. That's a tower right there. Such a cool map, this one. You can see the, the, the slow crawl around, you know. Right. Here we go. For the killing blow. Mate, that's really cool, actually. Uh, yeah, wicked. I love that. Very cool. And now we've got new flags, which means we don't have to go for the four skull. Um, but instead, we can wait for some upgrades. That was tough, that, but... Really liked the way it sort of made you think carefully about it, you know. All right, we got to try it. Let's give it a go. Okay. I wonder if we should do the same thing now. Just get out early. That's the way. Destroy, my friends. Destroy. The two towers happening here. This is good. This is good. Hopefully this should belong to us though. All your base are belong to us. Got a nice little three tower central section going on. Uh, it's time to build some graves I think. Let's 
Time to be a bit ruthless. Might as well just go straight for their keep. This feels... This feels... Yeah, look at his face there. He's like in pain almost, in frustrated. It's cool animations, like... <laughs> nice! Yes, that was a three skull. All right, we got another upgrade. So here, what I'm thinking is um, the grave will spawn army more often. I'm gonna try and see if I can upgrade my mines. Does that? Okay, all right, it's clear. It's so I'm sorry it was my own fault, but basically, I, I've kind of, I, I maybe would suggest or, or wish that there was like a way to, if you moused over each individual one, Rather than the whole scroll, like, um, bobbing in, in and out, you know, like if it was just this one that kind of wobbled or something, and then this one, so you could tell. Okay, well anyway, let's carry on down this, this east side. Now we've got the upgraded mines, I wonder what that means for us. It goes for six instead of five, so six, five, four, three, two, one, probably. Pretty good, that is. Uh, okay, I'm going to do the usual, I think. Get out nice and early. Okay, good. So it's an extra one. What is that? What? What just happened? I, I, uh... What can I... What the heck? Okay, uh... <laughs> hmm. He used some sort of spell, didn't he? Some sort of eye spell, and it, it blocked out this entire area. Hmm. Okay. I need to build out fast, I think. No, he's doing it again. Yeah, he's... that's unbelievable. I need to destroy that, I think, to reclaim my... to reclaim my, um... my space. I... I mean, I... That is so hard. Um... Maybe that's the point, is that we shouldn't be building towers too close. We should be building graveyards, because they're weaker. But potentially, on the reverse side of that, we can destroy our own graveyards if we need to easier. No, he's going to take it over. Bollocks to you, mate. Oh, hey, look. Uh, the building got destroyed, and so he couldn't, he couldn't steal it. So maybe if you sell it, maybe if you sell it. Ah, uh, right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start this again. We defeat, we got defeated anyway. But maybe if you sell the building before he's able to actually steal it, he cannot then steal it. That might be the answer. Okay. Yeah. I should probably um, upgrade the soldiers as well, if I'm honest. But yeah, it's cool. It's cool. These campaigns have, have lasted decently so far. Uh, so sell that. And you can't do it. Yeah, we've cracked it, mate. Ah, sugar. Okay, so sell the tower before he gets a chance to take it. Oh, I should have... Ah, shoot. Damn it, he took... I've got it back. Okay. There we go. Right, feels like we're getting some control over this map now. It's hard to keep an eye on... 
that eye when he when he uses his eye spell. <laughs> Good job. Right. So build a tower there. Good job. I feel like we're doing it now. He's not got enough resources. Yeah, he's under the screw now, isn't he? There we go. Yes. My tower is bigger than yours. Beat the tower. Wicked, your citadel has received an expanded zone of influence. So I guess now we can build, at the beginning, we can build further around it or something, right? Um, okay, let's go for this one. I liked that with the eye, the kind of mechanism there was cool. Alright, so he has a laser. He literally just lasered it. What the hell? I need to I need to push out, but it's it's a little bit hard. Whenever we build there, he basically snipes me, so I can't um do it that effectively. Right, fine. Let's go go for the farms. Let's go for the farms. Yeah, he's destroying me instantly there. I, I don't understand. The towers are getting they're getting like insta walloped. I'm gonna retreat and we're gonna start again. Come on. Build a, a mine. I'll build another one here, I think. See, this is interesting. It's just literally destroying instantly. Anything, I guess, within a certain radius. Go. Go for the farms. to go for those back farms as well don't we this is better so far Whew. yeah the upgraded mine has been brilliant to be fair it's meant that I can pretty much deal with having one fewer mine and um, and like it's instead of 19 which is what it was it's like now we're getting away with 18 and it's one less mine you know so we're doing doing pretty well Ah, yeah, so anything within that radius, it seems like it's... It's it's instantly lasering us, isn't it? I think this is ours to lose now, I would say. The amount of skeletons we've got coming through is fantastic. Good night, Irene. Yeah. Yes. I hate geometry so much. Beat the cube. Nice. <laughs> cool achievement. These little clips are great too. There might be some flashing though. Like, I guess that's the one thing if you are sensitive to flashing lights. Just be aware. Is that giving us a superpower? Yes, your citadel can now attack nearby enemies. All right, I like that. You know, I quite like how you you defeat these sort of almost like mini bosses, and yeah, they give you they give you greater advantages. It's a really neat idea, actually. A new feature of the landscape is dead land. Building on dead land costs five gold less. The construction of undead buildings on any of the special landscape turns it into dead land. 
So if you build a cemetery, then it remains a cemetery. Is that the point? So graveyards cost less, but everything else... No, everything costs less. Uh, let's go for your farm, mate. Okay. So there's two castles here, it looks like. Not ideal, is it? Ah. Yeah. <sighs> I did not really realize what was happening there. Until it was a bit, bit late. I just wish there was like a spacebar pause or something. I guess that makes it a little bit unfair. It's okay. My castle got, got me covered there. Kill the farms, man. This is this is not good. Farms need killing. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're destroying their uh, their production actually, which is nice. And I can build a tower there actually as well. We've got extra strength. Double crystals actually. Okay, so you want to go to that farm, then to that farm, then we'll attack. All right, great job, right. Time to bring it home. Oh, it looks like we had a new unit there or something. Or maybe it was because we captured one of their fortresses, actually. That might have been it. One of their barracks. All right, I tell you what, is there a way to save? Okay, it seems like because you can save to get to the main menu. I'm going to call it there for now. Interesting, really cool game actually. The levels are hard um, and you know, it's very, uh, it's very interesting seeing kind of how you maybe approach stuff differently. Um, yeah, I like it. As mentioned, the demo is out on today, the August the 23rd. So uh, you can check it out yourselves for free. Yeah, I believe it's going to be found on Steam. Head on over and check out the demo. Thanks again to uh, the devs for, for giving me a key and for the, for uh, reaching out for that. Do appreciate it. And um, yeah, I've really enjoyed this. A couple of things like uh, UI, like little tweaks maybe with the upgrades, you know, that, that, that would have made it perhaps a little bit easier for me to see. However, over time, as you play, you do just pick up these things. I'll be playing more of this and uh, yeah let me know what you think though as well please leave me a comment just let me know if you enjoy it and if you'd like to see some more of it um, so yeah let me know um, but yeah cool look after yourselves thanks for watching and uh, yeah see you on the next video bye for now